In this video, we're going to be looking at list. Um, lists are insanely popular, important, and if your application isn't a form, odds are I'm going to guess it's a list of some kind. Now, now there's you know new sites, other stuff, but yeah, uh, lists are most likely going to exist in what you are going to need in order to express your website content, stuff like that. So. Yeah, we're going to look at the docs, and then we're going to do some examples here. Looks like we have about three, two or three. And so let's get to seeing what the docs have to say. So it says a list component is used to display list items. That's no brainer right there. It renders an unordered list element by default. By default means, obviously, that's uh, how it's just going to be when it gets rendered, but you could change it. So we have a bunch of things here. We have a list, list item list icon, ordered list, unordered list. Now this looks like a lot, but this is really just what you would typically use if you had standard HTML anyways. So let's see how it's used here in an unordered list. We have, wouldn't you have guessed it, an unordered list, and we have a list item with all this lorem ipsum gibberish text in here. It's as easy as this. And you may think, oh, what's the point? You know, I'm just gonna type in you know, unordered list and do an LI and, and do it that way. But I do like the fact that even the most basic stuff they have spelled out because sometimes there'll be some libraries or situations where you'll have like a regular HTML element in here and it just looks kind of weird when you have a whole library doing everything else. I don't know. It's just me being me, but I I kind of like the fact that you could look at an entire component and everything in there is chakra based. Um, and I think that's just, you know, even for mundane stuff like this, I think it just is easier to navigate because you don't have to switch between a library and then a common element. And then we have an ordered list right here. We have the ordered list component as the parent. We have the list items coming through in here. I like the fact that they do it long ways like this. I know if this is probably like a material UI, which not knocking on them, they'd probably have like a for list and a bunch of other stuff in here. And I, that makes sense for efficiency, right? Less code to write. But I like the fact that they spell out each item in here. So we have an unstyled list with icons. So we could add icons to the list items by using list icon component. You could pass the name of the icon or use custom icons. The size of the icon is relative to the font size of the list item. So you can see right here we have a list. The spacing is three, so there's a nice you know, little gap in between these. Our list item here. And then we have our list icon. And don't forget, because sometimes it gets real easy to, this is like self-closing right here. So this is um, nested inside of the list item you're going to spell out the or type out the list icon as and then this md check circle is just going to be whatever icon you're bringing on in from the whatever library it may be it could be the chakra one or a third party and then they're setting the color to green right here and so it's just the same thing over and over and over again personally i think they probably should have just done two list items since that's really only the you know big difference here but yeah, so you just have a list item, then in there you have the list icon is a child of the list item, and then you go on to, you know, type whatever you need. And then we have a bunch of props right here, so that was it. That was really, really quick. Be sure to check back here for, you know, any kind of updates they may have, but let's get into rocking and rolling through these examples. In this first example, what we're going to do is just make a very basic unordered list. So let's get to coding. So we see here we have this box and that's just giving our, ourselves some padding. We have an unordered list, which obviously looks like an unordered list. And we have these just four list items in here. We have sub to my channel, which hopefully you are by now. Um, fo follow my, uh, I mean, I don't know who's watching this, but if you've seen some other videos, sometimes I say questionable things, but um, follow my posting on Twitter, save the turtles. And then I once threw my back out when I sneezed that 
is a true story. I was working at a Pier 1, and it was a very awkward phone call with my boss because I told him I can't come in. And he was like, why? And I said, I sneezed and threw my back out. And I said, I'll be in tomorrow. And then it was the most awkward hanging up I've ever heard in my life. So now that you've heard my whole entire life story, let's in the next section see how we can make this a little bit more interesting and add an icon. All right, so now that we're back here again with that little short two second break, let's keep the same concept now. What I'm going to do is change the unordered list to an actual list to kind of show you the differences there. And then I'm going to show you that you could actually have list icons, which are pretty cool. So now you see we have everything we had before, but now what we did is we change this to a list. So it's not an unordered list, so it doesn't have the, the, the numerics on the left-hand side here. But what we can do is we could come in and we could give it a list icon, and we're giving it this moon icon, which is straight out of the Shocker UI icons library, and we're giving it an aquamarine color. If we wanted to do something else, we could. And we change it to this black alpha 200 gray kind of color here. And this is a special icon. So that's pretty interesting there, I think. So if you want to go crazy with other icons, numbering styles, whatever it is you want, feel free to do so here. And in the last section, what we're going to do is look at how to make a nested list. Alrighty, so now that we're back here, let's make a uh, nested list. but I want to show you one other thing too, because we have an unordered list. Let's show you what an ordered list looks like. I'm sure you you could already predict what it's going to be, but let's do this. All right, now that I save this, let me move this out a little bit more here. So I know it's some of you, this may know y'all up here, but we now have an ordered list. So there's the list, an ordered list, and an ordered list now. So we have the one, two, three, and four here. And what we could do is actually have our list items in here originally, but then we could have a sub list on the inside of here. So we could have, you know, all these things for you to do, but then maybe on your grocery list, you have beer cabbage, batteries, and then meat. So this is how you use lists in Chakra. There's other bazillion ways to customize these things. But if you like this stuff, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.